Good morning, guys. It is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So if you are new here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Liking our channel and commenting on our channel keeps us going. We've been going for 11 years. We've done fitness videos. We've done uh, travel videos. We've done review videos. We've done so many different things. And today, I have kind of a new one for you. I've been super hesitant about making a video like this for an extremely long time. Just for the simple fact that I didn't want to like necessarily like get into this type of thing because it's kind of personal but I think it's a good idea to touch on it because I talk about it a lot in person and if you had met me and spent a continuous around amount of time around me I would have probably discussed it by now um, it's investing so I am NOT a financial advisor in no way shape or form would I ever take exactly what I say and run with it and spend millions of dollars on anything that is not my agenda here my agenda here is just the average guy that doesn't have much as you can see like I got a busted chair my bed's a piece of crap I live in a little 400 square foot apartment but that being said um, I do feel like I'm pretty passionate about um, the invested r investment realm or kind of like understanding or learning about investments and I think it's really important to be able to touch on that. In addition to that, um, I want to make some video series talking about this and kind of documenting my progress and everything like that while simultaneously not trying to talk things to death. So. That's a minute and a half. That's probably way too much, but I just wanted to give that preface. Now, moving forward, today's video is going to be how to retire from dividends. <laughs> Am I retired? No. The problem that I find with a lot of the people out there that are giving you information in the YouTube world or the YouTube space is the fact that these people are already retired or already have a million dollars invested or already are making you know tens of thousands of dollars per month off of investment videos through through Google AdSense or something like that so in my opinion it's hard to really kind of relate to that if you're starting like I am with just a couple hundred bucks. So that being said, I do know more than I have necessarily applied. I continue to get myself in a situation where I start investing and then I collapse and then I start investing and I collapse. So a lot of people out there will tell you like Dave Ramsey, I can't stand that guy. He'll tell you pay off your debt, buy everything with cash, whatever. That's fine. Okay. If you don't have the money to do that, I think keep trying, keep trying, keep trying to do everything you can to be able to invest. And they'll say, save money. Here's the thing, okay? Money that is making, for me personally, money that is making me money is a hell of a lot less apt to make me pull it out. Does that make sense? So dividends give you money each and every single month. Therefore, I'm less likely to snag that money out of there. If I have money in my savings account, then it's really easy for me to go transfer, 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 and it's gone. Like, but if something's bringing me a couple bucks each month, it's like, hmm, should I really do this? This is an investment. This is something long term. So it's a separate account and stuff like that. People might say, get a separate savings account. Well, then that does that make sense? <laughs> to, to, I don't want that many accounts. Like, I want an investing account and a checking account. That's it. Like, in a savings account. I don't want five banks and all these fees. Like, it's too much shit to handle. Um, that being said, how to retire from dividends. Okay, so first, and we're going to do a mock-up thing at the end. Okay, so I can help you understand exactly what that means. First, figure out where you want to retire. And that might be weird. You might be like, what do you mean? Of course I want to retire. Do I want to retire? The reason you're going to want to figure out where you want to retire is because it's going to be super important. Do you want to retire in America? Do you want to retire in the Philippines? Do you want to retire in London? Do you want to retire in Greece? In a island or something like that. Uh, do you want to retire in Cambodia? And you might be saying, what? Why would I want to do that? First of all, freaking cost of living like I am lucky and knock on wood that I have an apartment that's only like 660 bucks a month or 670 a month 
Um, but in America, that is rare. Like most people in this area are paying like twelve, fifteen hundred dollars a month for their apartments, and it adds up really fast. So if you retire somebody somewhere like Cambodia or Colombia or Spain or something like that, your cost of living could be drastically lower, if that makes sense. So being like dual citizenship, going back and forth or whatever could um, benefit you in a huge positive way. Now, that being said, figure out where you want to retire. And the, re the reason is because, um, and then the next thing is, number two is figure out when you want to be there. When do you want to retire? Is it five years, 10 years, 15 years, whatever. Number three, figure out the expenses that you need monthly and yearly, meaning like, how much is your rent? How much is your mortgage or whatever you're paying? Um, how much is going to be your transportation, your food, your medical expenses, all those things or whatever. Get a rough estimate of where it's going to be, where you want to retire, if that makes sense. And you can Google stuff. I would not Google like averages because I think that is absolute shit. Um, when you say what is the average like cost, um, a lot of governments and stuff will talk about like what they're willing to pay for section eight or housing or anything like that so it can be wildly different than what's actually true um i figure a, a good way is like go to like a local thing like a forum or something like that or like a craigslist version of wherever you're looking at like kijiji or something if it's abroad um and then find out you know what apartments are renting for and like that you want to rent or whatever and then you can get a better idea obviously it's going to go up over time but so is your portfolio so who cares um, the next thing is going to be, um, after you figure that out, you're going to start a little bit of a math problem and you go, Oh, I hate math. Well then fucking stay poor. I don't care. Um, figure out the, exp um, so the, you take the price of stock and you multiply it by the dividend yield. And this is how you would do it. So you would say if it's a $50 stock, you would say in a dividends, like five, point seven five percent or something like that you would say fifty dollars fifty times point zero five seven five and that equals your dividend return per share if that makes sense um, and the next thing is you're going to figure out your yearly expense divided by so you're going to take your yearly expense whatever it is that you are your cost of living is going to be and then you're going to Divide it by the return per share, the, the number you just got in the previous one, and then that equals the shares needed, okay? And this will make more sense in just a second when I go through it. Then you're going to go to the shares needed. You're going to take that final calculation of the previous one, and you're going to multiply that by the share price, or, yeah, multiply that by the share price, and then it's going to give you the amount needed to invest, like the total dollar amount that you're going to need, and then you're going to take the needed to invest divided by years to go, like how many years, if it's 10 years, if you got like $2 million and you need to do it in 10 years or whatever, just hypothetically, then that gives you the per year amount. And then you divide that by 12 and then divide that number by 30.43. That's the average uh, days in a month and that gives you the daily amount that you need to reach that goal now let's do the test run and work through it together okay so we got about a minute so I'm gonna use a test numbers that I would use okay so first of all I need to make more space on my phone shit so I figured out it's going to be about we'll say $20,000 and I was assuming like Mexico or Greece or something like that. So $20,000 is going to be my yearly that I need for expenses. Okay. Just deleted three apps and it gave me 18 additional minutes of space. What the hell? So that $20,000 comes out to approximately $1,666 a month. And you might be thinking, what the hell? That's way too low. You mind your own damn business. I feel like I can do more than enough with two, three hundred dollars a month rent with somewhere that I go, and you know uh, transportation because I won't need a car because the transportation outside the U.S. is way better, and stuff like that. So retiring outside the U.S. to me and just figuring out a number sounds good at sixteen sixty six. So that being said, we take that twenty thousand dollars and then we go. 
<clears throat> we do the price of stock, so I'm just going to use Realty ticker symbol O as an example. So it is Realty Income, it is a REIT, a Real Estate Investment Trust. Um, basically, they have a pretty good high yield and they're dividend aristocrat, meaning that they have continuously brought up their, um, brought up, stayed the same, or not gone down with their dividend yields for at least 25 years. And I think they did once in 2008 or something like that, but I think everybody did at that time and it was just like a hit really hard. So we're gonna use 5214. Okay, so we're gonna do 5214 times point zero five seven five, which comes out to 2.99. Then we're gonna to go to the next one and it's gonna say, uh, we're gonna do the yearly expense. So we got, um, 20, 20,000 yearly expense divided by the return divided by 2.99. And I'm going to have to pull up a calculator because I don't know what the hell that is. So just a second. I have the world's slowest computer, I apologize. <laughs> this thing needs to be just thrown up against a wall. It's a freaking joke. But I have way too much shit on it and I don't want to do it. All right, so we do 20,000. I don't think I've ever used this computer calculator. Divided by 2.99 equals 66.88. So 66.88 is going to be the shares needed. So I need 6,688 shares at $52.14, if that makes sense. Um, the shares needed times the price. So we have 66, 6,688 shares times 52.14. So whatever that is, let's see, 66, 88 times 52.14 equals. Okay, so that gives us the total is $348,712 is what we need to invest, if that makes sense. So to run through that again. Okay, so you got to find out your actual amount that it's going to take you to live per month that you want to retire with. And people will say, oh, that's not enough. I need $100,000 a year. That's okay. That's nothing wrong with that. Like, if that's the lifestyle you want to do, you got to realize, like, you're going to probably eat less. You're probably moving around less as you get older. You may be doing less. I don't know. Like, or it could be the opposite. You may have so much more free time. I don't want to totally actually like completely retire at that point. I just want to not have to like have to work if I don't want to, you know what I mean? Like, Oh, I kind of want to take a few months off and again, like, and which is cool. So you take that total amount and then you understand that amount you just put it off to the side and then you take the price of the stock multiply it by the dividend yield. The dividend yield is like how much you're going to make off it. So 52.14 times 0 0.0575, put the zero in front, and that equals 299. So that's my yearly annual that uh, dividend yield that I'm gonna make per share, $2.99. And that can go up, down, all over the place or whatever over time, but this gives you a really good estimate. And then you take the 2.99 and divide it by your yearly income that you're trying to obtain. So by 20,000, that gives you 6,688 shares. That 6,688 shares needs to be back multiplied again by the $52.14, which is the share price. And that gives you the total amount that you need to invest, which is 300 and $48,712. And then the last and final part that we want to do is 348,000. 
712.2 by 0.32 by divide it by the years. Did I push divide? Yeah, I did. Divide it by the years. So total of years. Like I really want to do this in eight years. I figure out like by 50, I want to be like, I'm good. Like so eight years. So eight equals. So 43,000 roughly. 43,589 gives you an understanding of what you need to invest per year. And then you divide that by 12. <coughs> by 12 equals 3,000. And it's, it's scary when you get that monthly number. It's like, holy crap. But with reinvesting all of your dividends all the time and really putting yourself in a position like where you are like compounding and as you do pay off your debt, because you should, we, we all should, as you pay off your debt, you can allocate more money and you don't do the lifestyle creep and everything like that. So about three grand, 3,600 a month, 3,642. And then you multiply that by 30.43 or divide it, sorry, divided by 30.43 equals about $119 a day, okay? Now you can do a couple things here, like you can automate some things. Um, $119 a day is probably stupidly out of my reach. And honestly, like I could probably get away with like $5 a day. But um, I do have the ability to be able to do like side hustles, whether it's like buying and selling stuff for like a profit or it could be um, my YouTube channel. It doesn't make a ton of money, but it does make roughly $200 a month pretty consistently. So that number um, brings down to 34.32, okay? And every time you can bring that number down, you're lowering your average daily needed amount. So um, I'm going to do, whoop. So we're gonna go 34, 34, 32 minus, no divided by 30.43 equals, got it down to $112 a day, okay? And then I get a little bit of money from Amazon as an affiliate, roughly, we'll put it in right around $75, because that's probably an average. So we'll say 34.32, Thirty-four, thirty-two, minus seventy-five equals thirty-three fifty-seven, and we'll say divided by thirty point four three equals one hundred and ten. So we got it down by nine bucks a day. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it is. Um, so we got it down to one hundred and ten. So you can see as you can like make things on the side like. Imagine this, okay? Imagine this, like you get a job where you make like um, 150 bucks and you work like six days a month, okay? And that might not think, seem like a lot, but look at this. So these are things that can really, really set your journey on fire. So six times 150 equals 900. So we go 900. So 34, I wish I could do this faster, sorry. 34, 32 minus 900 equals, what? No, that didn't work. I put 90, 34, 32 minus nine equals 25, 32. So now divided by 30.43. 83 bucks a day. So it gets wildly easier every single time that you're able to do something outside of your normal. So everybody's like, cut this, cut this, cut this, fuck that, make more. Like, in my opinion, make more so that, and, and the more that you make, go to this, if that makes sense. Like, here's the thing, guys. Like, I ain't got nobody that I think is going to take care of me when I get older or anything like that. And I'm not like wishing that necessarily or anything like that, but I got me, you know, like I, 
and you might just have you. So I hope this information helps you. I know it's a really long video, but I feel like people weren't really breaking it down to where like I could understand it. And um, when I finally clicked with it or whatever, I feel like there's other people that are going to be able to benefit from this type of information. So I hope it helped you. If it did, um, tell me where you want to um, retire. And if it's in the USA, maybe it's Minnesota or Arizona, or maybe it's um, Nicaragua or something like that, wherever it is, tell me where it is. I would love to hear where below and then how long it's going to take you to get there. Because if we start talking about these things and saying, hey, I'm going to be there in eight years, I'm going to be there in 10 years, I'm going to be there in 15 years, we're going to get there. Like we're going to get there and you can do this. Like. And I'm not saying like there's risk involved with this, okay? There's definitely risk. But what's the other, what's the opposite risk? You know what I mean? Like blowing all your money on food and stupid shit all the time. So who gives a shit? Like, you know, it's, you're going to put yourself in a potentially way better situation, way less stress-free and not work until you're like 100 because that's just stupid. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.